Hello and welcome to my video uh, about um, transportation access to the Pine Barrens. Uh, and in this, in this video, we are going to be comparing the transportation access uh, between Long Island's Pine Barrens and New Jersey's Pine Barrens. So, I looked at uh, basically I looked uh, at most of the larger state parks in both the Pine Barrens areas of New Jersey, mainly Ocean County. I mean, because the Pine Barrens there is very vast, but I'm trying to think of a similar area to compare to Long Island as far as the amount of, you know, square miles. So uh, that was mainly Ocean, and then Long Island was mainly Suffolk County uh, that we did this. So let me share with you the statistics. So um, doing this pretty much confirmed what I already knew, and it also confirmed why I wouldn't want to live in New Jersey to all those snobs out there who tell me that I don't belong, uh, don't need, uh, I shouldn't be living on Long Island and I should leave, well, is the reason why uh, I'm, I don't plan on going anywhere. Uh, because as long as I'm unable to drive, uh, especially, you know, if you're disabled or, you know, whether you're, I mean, even though it, you don't see the mental aspect of things, it, the, the thought of driving just makes me sick. I, I just, it would give me a panic attack, you know, I, I just can't even think about it. So anyway, uh, our Pine Barrens, uh, in our Pine Barrens, 95% of the major parks and preserves in our Pine Barrens are accessible to some form of public transportation. And uh, I have this uh, laid out in such a way, and you know, basically if it's within one mile of a bus or train stop, I'll consider it accessible to public transportation. Over one mile is more difficult. So 100% of the state parks on Long Island and the Pine Barrens are accessible by public transportation. And 100% of the DEC management areas are also accessible by public transportation. And uh, there are only, uh, there's only one place uh, that is not really that accessible to public transportation, and that's Indian Island County Park, uh, which still is kind of accessible, but it's a longer walk from the bus, too long of a walk from the bus. So the Long Island Railroad, um, of all the state parks, the train only serves two of them directly. Um, of these DEC management areas, um, only two are served, uh, and uh, two are also served, two Suffolk County parks served by the train. But um, because Suffolk County, uh, despite the fact that we often complain here, uh, that I complain and maybe others do about the public transportation on Long Island, compared to a lot of other places, it is still much better because. Um, you know, Suffolk County Transit serves most of the state parks, the county parks, and the DEC management areas in the Long Island Pine Barrens. Uh, and that's why most areas are served. There are just a few areas, basically, in the Pine Barrens that you can't get to uh, by public transportation. Uh, some of them, you know, Manabel Hills, you can get to that. that. People are like, well, there isn't really a bus that goes through Manabel, but there is. It's the S66 that uh, goes to Suffolk Community College, which takes you right to the trails to Manabel Hills. So that, that's the most remote part of the Long Island Pine Barrens, and you can still get there with public transportation. However, when we go ahead and we look at New Jersey, it's a much, much different picture. Uh, none of the New Jersey state parks, none of them, none of them are accessible by public transportation. Uh, none of them are close to public transportation. You, in most of these state parks, and I've been to them, Double Trouble, I've been to Cheesequake, I've been to El Air, uh, and they are a distance, at least an hour's walk from the nearest bus stop. And I think it's pretty, it's pretty shameful, really, that you know the people without cars are not being, are being denied access to state parks in New Jersey uh, because they don't have public transportation serving them. Uh, Ocean County Parks, it's a little better. Uh, you have Lake Shenandoah and Ocean County Park in Lakewood, that's served by the 67 and 137. Um, but those aren't routes that really, you know, run that often. You have to check the schedule. It's not like you have regular hourly service. The only local bus line in Ocean County that has regular hourly service is the 559. And that, uh, that is, uh, that really only serves uh, some smaller parks like Winding River, uh, Dudley, and uh, Ocean Township Park, uh, and, uh, you know, and the Berkeley, the new Berkeley uh, Sand Pit Park that they are preserved that they, that's through the Ocean County Land Trust. So, uh, very little served in New Jersey, so only 36%, and I was trying to be really, uh, 
try to give benefit of the doubt, but only 36% of the ma major Pine Barrens parks in New Jersey are served by public transportation. And none of the state parks are, and uh, only some of the Ocean County parks are. Uh, like I said, Ocean County 559 is the only bus that provides regular service, and in Monmouth, you basically have the 139, which provides excellent service along Route 9. But if you want to go anywhere away from Route 9, there's very little service. Uh, there is one place in Monmouth County you can get to in the Pine Barren. It's called Shark River Park, and that's uh, one route the 836 goes there. You forget about Turkey Swamp, that, that doesn't get there. So it's very limited um, public transportation in New Jersey. And uh, in the coming clips, you will see uh, how, how we explain the difference between Suffolk County, uh, Long Island, uh, and Ocean County as far as the transportation goes. Okay, so welcome to the second part of this video where we're going to talk about the transit, the public transit accessibility of various parks and the Pine Barrens especially. All right, this is really what this uh, what we're focusing on here. So I, I want to start with uh, some of the county parks. Show you uh, how many. I'm sorry, the state parks we're going to start with in the Pine Barrens, major state air parks, and show you the county parks too and everything here. All right, so we're going to go from west to east here. Um, one of my favorite places is the Edgewood. Uh, Pine Barrens Preserve, which uh, on this is obviously shown a lot smaller than it actually is. Um, and uh, this uh, is accessible uh, by a uh, bus. It's a, first of all, it's right by the Deer Park train station, so you can okay, get off the train here and literally just go to the parking lot and pick up a trail right into Edgewood Preserve right here. Or you can um, access it via the S33 bus, which, uh, you know, I really wish Google would show... Um, the uh, Suffolk County buses on here, but the S30, you'll have to take my word for it, the S33 goes down Comac Road, um, and uh, you also have the S27, which would stop over here, it goes through this loop over here, so you can take that over to Edgewood, uh, you also have the S41 that goes through Pilgrim, you can also get to Edgewood that way as well. So uh, I want to show you another place uh, that's very nice too, called Belmont Lake, and you can get here with the 2B. It drops you off right here, and it's just a short walk over to uh, Belmont Lake State Park. All right. And also the other routes that go down this road, like the S23 and the S29. So it's easy to get to. Um, move on here. Let's move our way, make our way east toward another beautiful pine, bar big Pine Barrens Park here, Connecticut River. Uh, and you can get here with the S54 as well as the S40. And you can also take the train to the Great River train station. It's just a short walk over to Connect Quad. All right, so let's go to some other places here at the Pine Barrens. I, mean, I can't cover everything. Uh, Rocky Point State, this is, a, this is one of the bigger places here, Rocky Point DEC uh, State Pine Barrens Forest. You can access S62, which goes along here, Route 25A, or the S25, which goes along Route 25. Pretty much will get you into this place pretty easily, pretty quickly. Um, you know, you can access through, uh, pretty much the preserve starts, like, pretty much, it almost parts goes up to Route 25, so you can get there pretty easily. The same thing also goes for Brookhaven State Park also. We have the S62 up here, and the S58 over here along Middle Country Road, which you can get to, um, pretty easily there as well. All right. Uh, and then we have, uh, this area here, uh, Long Island State Pine Barrens Preserve, uh, which, uh, is this just this general area here you can get here with the s66 it'll take you to suffolk community college there's some trails that'll take you right out of there into this manaville hills place uh and then you also have the david a Sonoff preserve which um you can again it's just a short maybe like 15 20 minute walk through the trail it starts here on lake avenue um uh, from the riverhead county center you can get the s66 x s62 8a and the s58 there and the S92 as well. Uh, and the West Hampton Dwarf Pine Plains, which uh, you can also get to with the um, Montauk branch here uh, from the train station. Uh, and the S90 when it did run, but they cut that. And then the S92 here, which will take you to Hubbard County Park, Sears Bellows County Park uh, as well. Um, and then we work our way east along the South Fork where there's more Pine Barrens. You have Napiog State Park and Hither Hills State Park. And uh, 
the the 10C will take you here to both of these places. Uh, the 10C will take you to both of these places. And really, the Yamaganza train station, uh, maybe it's a little more over a mile, but that will also take you there as well. So, uh, And our beaches are, are quite accessible to public transportation as well. I mean, we have ferries to Fire Island. Uh, we have, uh, in season, we have the S-47, which runs to Robert Moses. And then we also have uh, Jones Beach, which uh, is having extended service. And, of course, let's not forget Long Beach, which is served year-round by the N-15 and the Long Beach branch. Well, because Google would show the Suffolk County transit routes, I have now, I am now looking at their map to show you a little more fairly of how easy it can be to get to the Long Island Pine Barrens with either the Long Island Railroad or uh, Suffolk County transit. So we're going to first start off here, and uh, it's not going to show all the parks on here, but uh, we'll be able to at least get a better idea. So this is the Deer Park Long Island Railroad here, Edgewood. This is the Edgewood Preserve right here, so you can see you can get the S33, get the S41, and also the S27, which will take you there, as well as the Deer Park Long Island Railroad. And this is the furthest west, the best example of the Pine Barrens, uh, the far west on, on Long Island. So unlike Cheesequake, this place is pretty easy to get to. Uh, although it doesn't have bodies of water, uh, you know, if you want bodies of water, guess what? You can go to Belmont Lake State Park which is over here, and you can see here, uh, right over here, Belmont Lake State Park, and the 2B will take you right by there. And even the S23 and the, and the uh, 29 aren't too far away from Belmont Lake. Oh, and the S25 goes there, too. That's right. Um, so you have the S25 that goes there, too. Uh, and then we work our way east and connect Quat River, which is another uh, Pine Barrens uh, area here. Uh, you can get the S40, S54 there. It's not too far from the Great River, and 3C isn't that far away either. Heckscher, also really not that long of a walk uh, from the S40 as well. Um, let's work our way further east, so we get into the heart of the Pine Barrens here. Uh, we have South Haven County Park. Uh, again, the 66 uh, goes there, the 68 goes there, by there, not too far from Mastic Shirley. Unfortunately, they did get rid of the 71, which was... The closest route to it, they got rid of that one, unfortunately. I think that was a mistake, and uh, if they ever do restore routes, the S-71 should be the first route that they should restore. Um, these are the uh, this is, this is the Rocky Point uh, Pine Barrens over here, Brookhaven State Park here. You can see they're both reachable by the 58 or the 62. So you can get to both of these from here. Cathedral Pines isn't far away from the 58. And these are routes that run every hour, most days of the week, uh, 58, seven days a week, 62, six days a week. Uh, so, you know, again, these places are pretty easy to get to. you got Wildwood State Park that's served by uh, some of the 62 runs that go up north. Some of them go this way. Some of them go straight. So you have to look at the schedule for that. Um, and then you have a whole bunch of Pine Barrens areas over here. Uh, you got David A. Sarnoff. The 8A goes right by there, right down the road that it goes. So drop you off literally right in front of the place. But, however, it's just a short walk over from the county center, 15, 15 minutes uh, a walk from the beginning of the trails here at David A. Sarnoff to the county center. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and then you got the S92, which also goes right by Sears Bellows. It's not on the map here, but Sears Bellows. County Park over here and Hubbard County Park, both beautiful Pine Barrens areas. You have Suffolk Community College. This is in the real heart of the Pine Barrens in Manorville. You can go, uh, there's, there's actually have a map there. and some, I think you can pick up a trail that actually will take you right out of the college to the Bald Hill Lookout here or any of these places in Manorville Hills. Uh, and we work our way further east. And I'll show you these Pine Barrens out here. See, you've got Napiog State Park, which you can get to at the 10C. Not that long a walk from Amagansett Rail. you got Hither Hills. Here's the 10C again. And uh, Montauk Point is also reachable by the S94 in the summer season only. Uh, uh, that will take you out to Montauk Point Lighthouse. And you can also get to Orient Beach State Park, too, which is uh, not Pine Barrens, but the S92 will take you there. And then also you have the Long Island Railroad, too, which will take you you know, around to get you to these places. So, uh, as you can see, uh, the Long Island Pine Barrens for the carless are a lot better than New Jersey's. Uh, New Jersey needs to really improve their public transportation system. As much as we can fault Long Island sometimes, when you really look at the maps and you look at the research, 
you will see that Long Island is a much better place to live for uh, people like me versus New Jersey. So for those people who think I'm moving to New Jersey, you can't absolutely forget it. So now let's take a look at New Jersey and see how New Jersey stacks up. Okay, so let's see how New Jersey stacks up. Uh, New Jersey is a lot different. Um, there's a lot less public transportation available in Pine Barrens area. So I'll work my way from north to south. Um, the northernmost uh, section of Pine Barrens, at least that's notable, is Cheesequake State Park. But unfortunately, despite being uh, right along the parkway, um, none of the buses actually stop here to serve Cheesequake State Park. Uh, and uh, as a result, there really is no easy public transportation access. If you want to access Cheesequake State Park, what you have to do is you have to take the 139, get off uh, over here, and then walk all along these roads uh, to get to the park entrance, which is over here. So it's a pain in the neck. Or you could take the train and walk all the way from the Matawan Station, which, again, it's not, it's not an easy walk. Uh, it's not very pedestrian-friendly, and it's a distance to, just to get to the park. All right, and that's, that's the closest Pine Barrens to, in New Jersey to New York City. So we work our way south here, and I'm not going to cover everything um, that I went over here to make this, you know, little report, but the next major state park is Allaire State Park, and unfortunately, once again, there's no public transportation here either. Um, in order to get to Allaire, and I went there once, you have to take the train to this, uh, is it Spring Lake? Is it not Spring Lake, I think it's the next station. Um, one of these stations here. It was a little, I think it was, no, it was spring, I think it was the one before it. No, it's the one after it. Uh, one of these stations, no, it's not Point Pleasant. I thought there was another station over here. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was another station over here. Oh yeah, Manasquan. Wasn't showing it up right away. You have to take to Manasquan and then walk all along here. There's a path that will take you directly in the park. But it's a long distance. You're going to be walking at least an hour just to get to the park, right? And the same goes for if you want to take the 139 or Route 9, you've got a nice long walk also to some of these roads. Old Ritz, Old Tavern, you have to walk down all these roads just to get to Allaire by public transportation in New Jersey. Um, this one here is a little easier to access. Actually, it's a lot easier to access because it's served. Uh, Route 88 goes in between Lake Shenandoah, County Park and Ocean County Park, and you can get the, uh, you see it'll probably show up on here, let's see if it'll show up, um, you can get the 67 and the 137 uh, NJ Transit buses, and I think the Brick Link bus goes down here, I'm not sure, it might go by here, uh, so you can access those by public transportation, also, if you don't mind walking a bit, I guess you can get the 559 over there too, that's a little more than a mile, uh, alright, so, that one is accessible, uh, and then we work our way to Caddis Island, which is over here, uh, Caddis Island County Park, which unfortunately is not accessible. There's no bus service in this area of Ocean County, which is surprising because there's a lot of stuff around here. There's a shop right, but there's no bus service over here. Nothing, not even Ocean Ride is available. So you can't, you have to walk a long distance along Fisher Boulevard you have to take the 67 bus and then walk down Fisher Boulevard. So it's at least a 45-minute walk to get over to Caddis Island. Um, uh, so that place isn't very accessible. Winding River is pretty accessible. Um, you can get the Ocean Ride OC10 bus, which stops by Community Center, uh, Community Medical Center, and you can access Winding River Park, uh, as well as the 559, which stops over here. It's just a short walk over from there. Um, uh, moving along, uh, Jake's Branch County Park, which is a, about a 45-minute walk from Route 9 or uh, the uh, Tom's River Bus Terminal. Not really something I consider accessible by public transportation. If you've got to walk more than a mile, it's not really right by public transportation. And you have to even walk longer if you want to go to Double Charles State Park because at least it's about an hour walk from Route 9 along these roads here to get to Double Trouble State Park. There's no buses that run down here at all whatsoever. Um, the only bus that runs in this area is the one that goes along Route 9, and that's it. So a lot of these places that are well west of the parkway in the Pine Barrens, 
such as Wells Mills County Park, which is over here. Uh, again, Wells Mills, that's an, uh, an hour and a half walk from Route 9 just to get to the park. It's five miles. Uh, so you can see how difficult it is to access the Pine Barrens in New Jersey. Um, so you really don't want to be living in New Jersey without a car. Uh, it's much worse than Long Island. Uh, and that's a major issue I have with New Jersey. Uh, we're going to look at an ocean ride bus map to show you just how pathetic things are over there. Okay, so this is the Ocean County Transit map. Uh, and you may look at this and say, wow, those are a lot of routes there. Uh, but here's the thing. A lot of these routes, they don't exist anymore. Uh, they cut a lot of these routes out. So they don't even run. And the routes that you do see here, um, they are um, not... Uh, they don't run every day, and there's just a few runs a day. Um, the way the Ocean Ride bus system works, the Ocean County bus system, which really needs to be taken over by New Jersey Transit, uh, is that um, the uh, only two routes have daily service, mostly daily service, and that would be the Tom's River Connection, that's this route right here, TR, and the um, Bricklink, which... Uh, is one of these, a lot of these routes, they don't exist anymore, uh, you know, uh, 10, 11, I mean, a lot of these routes were cut out, I, you know, they don't run anymore, this is an old map, uh, that they have, that I've downloaded a while ago from them, uh, and most of these routes don't even run anymore, all right, um, uh, this is really just, uh, you know, <laughs> what can I tell you, it's, uh, it's, it's ridiculous, so if you look at the parks, though, Let's go ahead and look at the parks, all right, the, the Pine Barrens areas that we want to get to. Uh, we'll first look at Double Trouble State Park, and you'll, so we'll zoom in a little bit here. And let me get in a little more here. All right, so most of these routes, um, said they don't even, let's, yeah, let's go to Caddis first, which would be up here. Yeah, Caddis Island Park, which would be over here. It looks like they did once have a route that went here called the 29. That doesn't even run anymore. Um, so uh, that doesn't even run. So Caddis Island is over here. There's no bus service. Ocean County College. They, none of their routes, none of Ocean Rides route actually serve their own college, which is kind of pathetic if you ask me. Uh, but uh, let's focus on the Pine Barrens areas. Uh, Jake's Branch is over here, as well as Double Trouble. There's nothing over here. All this is just the parkway. Um, you know, Wells Mills, which is further down this way. Here it is, Wells Mills. You can see it over here. Uh, this, there's nothing, there's nothing over here either. Uh, so these are major county parks, and there's no bus service to them. Uh, so, uh, and this, like I said, this map... You're wondering, what are all these routes? They don't exist anymore. Let's show you what Ocean Ride looks like today, all right? Uh, because apparently they did have a lot more routes at one time, and they must have cut a lot of them out. Uh, uh, you'll, let's take a look at what they have now, and you'll see. You can't get, you can't, you literally can't get to most of these places in the Pine Barrens in Ocean County. So, we're on Ocean County's, web, uh, Ocean Ride's webpage now. And I'm only going to point out to you that they have two, only two daily routes the OC-10 and the Lakewood bus, the OC-4, I guess they at least called Bricklink or whatever. So we look at the OC-10, which is the only route that that runs uh, on a regular basis. Uh, it runs uh, six days a week. Uh, it doesn't run Sundays in the fall and the winter. Uh, in the summer, it runs Sundays. But other than that, there is no Sunday service, and uh, this route doesn't even go that far west. No, it doesn't go to Lakehurst. It should go to Lakehurst. Lakehurst has no bus service. I think it's absolutely ridiculous, but uh, these aren't really... Lakehurst is not really the middle of nowhere. There are a lot of people that live there, um, uh, but this is uh, this is one of their better routes, all right? Uh, uh, and then there's the uh, Lakewood one as well. That's uh, This one also runs uh, Monday through Friday, so it's five days a week. And uh, it does. There aren't that many runs, as you can see. But still, compared to what we, what you're going to see on some of these other routes, it's ridiculous. All right, let's say. All right, Lakehurst does have bus service. They do have bus service. There's one route that serves Lakehurst. Actually, two routes that serve Lakehurst. But guess what? 
they only run Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. <laughs> so they don't even run every day. And then look at the amount of runs there are. There's two runs in each direction. This is almost useless unless you're, you know, going. And mostly they're scheduled for people that are living in Lakehurst and Whiting to go to Tom's River and back. So you can't, if you want to go out to Lakehurst or Whiting for the day, you can't do that. Forget it. It's not going to happen. So these routes really don't count for anything. Um, let's take a look at the OC2. It's the other one that serves Manchester. So again, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. What if you need to travel Tuesday and Thursday? Well, forget about it. Look at how few runs there are here. I mean, this is this is a joke, all right? This is a joke, all right? Uh, then there's the OC3 brick. Let's see. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday again. So they only run Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And there's two runs in each direction. Uh, I could go on and on with these. Uh, let's see. We'll do this lacy one. This one's even. This one's even more ridiculous. It's like one. Yeah. It's like hardly anything. I mean, this is practically nothing here. Uh, I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, but it's not great. You have the OC six, Little Egg Harbor, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and there's very few runs here. And really, it really just duplicates the five five nine more or less. So. Nothing, nothing great there, really. Uh, and then it gets even really outrageous here because you go to the OC9 Barnegat. Uh, if you want to go out to LBI, you will only get service on Tuesday. That is it. Otherwise, you're not getting to LBI. Um, I'm sure the taxis must love this, um, but this is this is what it looks like. I mean, this is. If you want to get from Manahawken to LBI, or right, let's see, to Manahawken. All right, what if I want to go to Holgate, though? Oh, it doesn't work that way. I can't actually go to LBI for the day using this schedule. Yeah, really great. I don't think you can. We'll see. No, I don't think you can. So, yeah, uh, you know, it's, 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 and it gets even more ridiculous when you look at some of these routes. Where Town Shoppers Loop. Uh, you know, if you're if you're uh, if you can't drive in these towns, only second Tuesday of the month on this one. So uh, you you see where I'm going with this. Uh, you know, as bad as Long Island can be sometimes, there are way worse places to be living when you don't drive. So as you can see, very different worlds. Uh, you know, New Jersey has done a great job preserving land. I'll say that they've done a way better job than we have, especially Ocean County. But when it comes to public transportation in Ocean County, that's where they really fall short. Uh, I know Ocean County is a lot, of, you know, le more le lessly populated, a light, lot more lightly populated compared to Long Island, but it's not that much more lightly populated to the point where lots of towns like Manchester and Lakehurst, uh, towns that are west of the parkway, have no public transportation whatsoever, or public transportation that only runs a couple of days a week. Um, and I, I, according to the map, as you saw there, it looked like Ocean Ride had more routes, but they cut them. Um, so this is why Ocean County is not a good place to live if you're relying on public transportation. Not only is it much hotter there, but uh, you know it, you have it's very difficult to get around without a car. So for those who think that I should leave Long Island and go to New Jersey, as long as I'm unable to drive, that is never going to happen because I can't live there because I can't get around there. Uh, and uh, that's just the way it is, you know. Uh, I think that you know Long Island, with all the issues we have, we have a pretty good public transportation system compared to other similar areas uh, that are that have a similar Pine Barrens environment. So um, that is why I choose to, you know, we choose. We've got to preserve uh, the public transportation system on Long Island and stop cutting it because the buses are important. The last thing we want to do is wind up like Ocean County, which, which pretty much is you're on your own there if you want to go, go into any of the state parks. Uh, you have to take a long walk because uh, and I, I'm not, I would imagine the taxi rates are expensive there, just like here. Or, you know, it's still, uh, it's, there should be public transportation access to the state parks in New Jersey. And lastly, the beaches too. Uh, you know, um, New Jersey's beaches, I mean, uh, yeah, the short towns have the North Jersey coastline, you know, places like Asbury Park, places like Spring Lake, Belmar, uh, Point Pleasant, whatever. But if you want to experience a more open, natural setting beach, there, like, for instance, Sandy Hook, there's no bus service to Sandy Hook. You're on your own there. 
Uh, Island Beach State Park, uh, there's only seasonal bus service, like one run a day. Uh, the, I think one of the 137s goes there. Um, so it's very limited service, and Long Beach Island, forget it. So, uh, you know, I mean, compared to Long Island where we have, you know, regular bus service throughout the summer to Jones Beach, uh, Robert Moses, you can take the ferries to Fire Island, except during the winter. Uh, you can get to the beaches in the Hamptons, and some of them aren't even that far from the train station. Uh, and Long Beach, which you can access any time uh, via the train and the N15. So uh, that has been it for this little comparison. But this is why I like I like Long Island. I prefer I prefer to live on Long Island over New Jersey for someone in my situation. Please don't take it the wrong way, folks in New Jersey. You do have a beautiful state. You have a beautiful Pine Barrens, but I think you do need to improve your public transportation. That's the one thing that's lacking in Jersey. Anyway, take care and thank you for watching.